um, am I on? Yes, you're on, baby. <laughs> I'm on. <laughs> Get in on it. Get in on it, man. Right, have you been for a wee? Yeah. <laughs> Good to go. More importantly, have you been for a wee? Yes, dear. <laughs> it's going to like five minutes. Uh, I give it five minutes. Oh, yeah. Right. I love that coffee. Get your posterior. Getting um. on. Righto. <laughs> Righto. Righto, Abby. Righto, mate. That's Brent. What? What? That's Brent in front. Oh, right. Is that Brent, the lovely builder guy with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super nice guy. He's such a sweetie. Yeah. Me? Lovely. Um, are we going to say hi? Hello? Good morning? To who? Actually, good afternoon. To the oh, beat. people watching. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, nobody's watching this. No. Well, those few that might, yeah. you know, <laughs> might attempt. What happened? Oh. We haven't been on the bike for freaking ages, and it is purely, purely due to the weather. Yeah, the weather's been really uh, Honest, it, with, this is no exaggeration. Monday to Friday has been the most epic weather it's been like this every day no wind blue sky just amazing yeah gorgeous through and, the way and then literally every friday night at about five o'clock just as i'm finishing work it started to rain yeah. and it's rained all night friday it's rained all day saturday and it's rained all day sunday and then monday is it's amazing again. again and it's done that for four weekends in a row so annoying so annoying so that's why we haven't done a vlog no, so please forgive us. Yeah, we're feeling pretty bad about it, but you know, unfortunately, when the weather like that, I mean, it's, it's not fun, really. So our plan today is, is to blow the cobwebs out of the bike. Within reason, um, unfortunately, I incurred another freaking ticket the other day, oh. <laughs> which oh. I'm really pissed off about. And the, I'm sweating. Boy. Oh, I was driving home. It was five o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, I was tired. I've been working all day. Got my son in the car. Uh, we worked together, and um, I just didn't quite come to a stop at one of the stop signs in town. You know how you sort of just just slow right down. You slow right down to almost crawl in pace. I, I looked left, looked right, and then I went. And then I heard, then I heard this, boo, boo, boo. I thought, ah, no. That's so annoying. So annoying. He didn't even, he, like, he was totally chill, totally nice. Um, got my name, got my address. See you later, bye. Yeah, it's like, good. that'll be in the mail, bye. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you bastard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah, well, do they have to get their quota for the day or something? Uh, I think, I think actually that particular junction is quite a dangerous one. But because but that's I, where, that's I do it, it's where all the tourists come. They come from Queenstown. They go down that road and then they crash on that yeah, crossroads. True. Yeah, but so I've known a few people I who actually, got tickets here for doing yeah, exactly the same yeah. thing. Yeah, anyway, um, I actually saved a guy and his wife's life the other day. Did you? you yeah. Tell me that. Oh, well, me and Jordan will back me up. He'll tell you what happened. We were just coming down to that junction, and there was a big logging truck in front of us. And, we, you know, we're going about 80. And then we, we're starting to let off because the junction's coming up, you know. We could, you know, we've just started to slow down. It's double yellow line. Anyway, I've seen the, the rear view mirror, this Indian guy and his wife, and they are gunning it in, right, right behind me, doing about 120. Oh and God. I see him indicate to overtake me. And if he overtook me, it, they both would have died. Absolutely, 100% oh guarantee, because they didn't know that there's a crossroad coming up. Yeah, right. You know, that with a stop sign. And they were gunning it like they were just going they were going to overtake down the hill completely blind oh my gosh so i just swerved onto their side of the road and completely blocked him so he couldn't overtake 
Oh, and I literally bag. saved their lives. I'm not even kidding. They both would have died. So did Jordan, I mean, I mean, what happened? I mean, did he... Nothing. The wife looked pretty shocked <laughs> and quiet. But, you know, I could see them in my, mirror, in my rear view mirror. Oh, well, good on you. I knew that they were going to have a massive crash. If you were in the position of actually being able to do that and inter intervene, yeah. then you probably should. So, yeah, you definitely did the right thing. And that could have been horrendous. And you could have been... You would have been the first, first person on the thing. Well... Uh, lots of people die in this country because of logging trucks. Yeah, that's true. Because they don't realise them logging trucks are not stopping. They can't stop, really. They can't. They can't stop very quickly, anyway. Yeah. You've got, you know, 50 tons behind you. Anyway, so today, to blow the cobwebs out, we're going to cruise up the side of the lake because it looks amazing today. Look at that. It's a lovely day. It is. There's actually a bit of cloud coming over the mountain there. Let's get round this mountain to the other side. Yeah, that lake, it's, it's moved up a bit. So this morning that cloud was on the ground and it was pretty much fog. And now it's lifted. Yeah. Lifted enough, enough for us to come out and uh, do a vlog. And we have so much to tell you. <laughs> 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 it's crazy how much has happened in the last month. Oh, the old rugby boys there. Saturday rugby has started. Yeah, weekend rugby here is huge, isn't it? Massive, yeah. It's huge. It's a big deal. I mean, yeah. we are the greatest rugby nation on the planet. True that. <laughs> the British would be grinding their teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's nah, not our fault we keep winning over and over and over again. Oh, well, you know, that's what we do, isn't it? Just I am really, it. really looking forward to the World Cup next year. I know, it's going to be... Oh, it's not next year. It is. It 2019, yeah, World Cup. Oh, it is nice to be on the bike, isn't it? I just love it. It is nice. Um, I've just uh, a little notion this morning to be, watch out for tourists, but no. Yeah, this is a beautiful road, road, but it is a little bit on the dangerous side, so we'll take yeah. it fairly easy. Anyway, one thing we need to talk about which is the first thing on up. I've actually written down a list of things to talk about. There's so oh, much to say. Well <laughs> the first thing is we are just about to hit 2000 subs. So I wanted to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to our channel. We, um, we don't do this for any type of financial gain. We don't do this to advertise any companies. It is just Tom and Tubbs on a bike. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. No, Tom and Kim. Okay, Tom and Kim on a bike. Not Tubbs anymore. <laughs> have to find a more charming nickname for me. Though. Okay. <laughs> uh, it, it, it is literally just us on a bike, and when we go on holiday, we do a, a holiday video, and and it's really nice to know that nearly, just like well, I think we're at like ten or fifteen people off of getting two thousand subscribers, which is. It's cool. Uh, it it's cool. it's nice. So, all them people that have subscribed uh, to to our channel, even though that's kind of not really a channel per se. Um, it's just us videoing stuff. Um, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy it. It's yeah, cool. Thanks, yeah. It's really cool. We're like stoked that people enjoy watching, you know, our videos and stuff. And, and I could reel off a, a list of names of people who comment every video those people that do you know who you are uh, I we know who you are because we read every comment and I try and reply to everyone thanks guys thanks for the comments that's cool you know we yeah, really it's brilliant. really nice we get some really cool comments yeah. it's really nice oh yeah keep keep that coming and uh, one day when we're fully sponsored by BMW <laughs> <laughs> which uh, to be perfectly honest I wouldn't say no to <laughs> BMW sponsor us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just give us a new bike every year. BMW I actually need to do my annual review on this bike. It's been a year. Oh yeah, true that. Yeah. Okay, so here is the car park for the Mount Roy. Yeah, they've just built this car park. They never build them big enough though. Well, so. that's a 
thousand times better than what was there before. That's right, it was just like yeah. a little patch of grass. It was before. just the grass verge. Yeah, pretty much on the side of the road. Yeah. So that's, that's an improvement for sure. Mount Certainly Roy is. is. One of the um, favourite walks around here. Yeah, it's up there into the clouds. Yeah. Look at that, that's the glacier ahead of us. Ooh, -hoo. the Rob Roy glacier. Oh, there's some oh. motorbikers in front as well. Let's go and catch them up. Anyway, the other thing is, um, I created a, a playlist of kind of, I guess, my favourite tunes of all time, but with a view to being sort of fairly easily listen to easy listening music so please feel free to check that out i did a basically it's tom's top 100 i can't remember what i called it actually 100 greatest hits yeah something like that so um, some of them are a bit fun and some of them are a bit uh weird, weird. <laughs> some of them i'm like uh... kim thinks i've got very weird mu music taste in music so if you, if you check it out you'll see what i mean i don't think it's weird a very eclectic ocean. Yeah. Mind you, I am too. I like all sorts of music. Oh, isn't it beautiful here? These guys look like the what sort the of... What the heck are they doing? Well, no, no, they're about to turn right. They're, oh, right, they're all okay. good. They've been... That's okay, sweet. <sighs> wow, it's very pretty around here, isn't it? It is beautiful. Look at that. Uh, we should stop. No, uh, we'll stop on the way. Oh, look, it's amazing. It's stunning. This is what we wanted to show you. This is literally just a few kilometres out of Wanaka. There's a little walk there that you can do. It is also an awesome motorbiking road as well. <laughs> Are we going to go out as far as Triple Cone? Yeah, why not? It's not far. Are you getting that in the picture? No. I don't know what's up with my visor, but no matter what I do or how I adjust the uh, the pin lock, it's still steaming up. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm going I'm to get a new screen and a new pin lock when I'm back in England. Oh, I've got hiccups. Um, I'm thinking about getting a new helmet, actually. That's yeah, if people could make some recommendations for Kim's little she's got her head shape would be little fat and round <laughs> 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 so if the viewers could make some suggestions on the type of helmet that fits little fat round faces <laughs> if you think like a football on top of a spare of shoulders that's but a little football <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Shuey or Aurai, Aurai do helmets for little round heads. <laughs> I can only wear an HJC helmet because I've got quite a long face. You have, you've got a very big chin too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, they're the only helmets that fit me, nothing else fits me. This is the campsite, by the way, all the way around here where I'm looking. Yeah. Um, that is huge, it's Glen Hugh campsite very very popular in summer um like even the wanaka locals come and camp here yeah they do <laughs> bring what? their boats and oh I gosh knew that was, i knew that was going to happen was, yes i know exactly um this one's a bit tight across my forehead and um well that's a that's a sort of oh shit that's a bit slippy there um the helmet you've got although it looks really cool i do love it it is a it's a good looking helmet but it is fairly cheap it's a oh gosh i can't remember it's an agv something three oh no, she's letting me through oh, nice. even though in thi oh now she's it is just so beautiful down here it's amazing isn't it look at that oh my gosh my visor is like so grubby <laughs> grubby little monster did you give it a clean no why the hell would i give your visor a clean i bet you clean yours uh no i didn't actually oh, anyway your your agv helmet although it kind of oh it was a k3 
and you tried the K5 on and that was a totally so different shape. It was just too big, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just all right. Um, I think you should get a showy. I had a showy the first time. And you I did have a showy. show before. Was that a good fit? Yeah, it was nice. I like my showy. Yeah. Um, you need to try a few on, and the best place to do that is in England when we're back there, to be honest. Yes, that's right. Oh, gosh, I mean, I just can't wait to go to England, and the choice, and the quality. Yeah. Oh, it's oh. just, like, awesome. Can't get anything here, can you? It's difficult, especially in Monaco. I mean, it's, it's still well, even if you go to the city, you go, you, there's not, like, a, a shop that sells motorbike helmets from all the different manufacturers. There'll be a shop that sells... Chinese helmets <laughs> and that'll be it and there might be the odd showy or the odd Aurai. Yeah, I mean it's, it's hard to get anything here really. Yeah. I mean a lot of people buy stuff online. Um, yeah, and it doesn't fit but Kiwis sort of just have learned, they've learnt to put up with it, haven't they? You can't, you can't stand that, can you? Oh, if it doesn't fit, I'm just like, well I'm not spending a stupid amount of money on something that doesn't fit. And not only that, you are fussy, um, so that's not a good combination. <laughs> not fussy. By the way, if, if you want to, you know, um, put yourself through hell for a day, go shopping with Tom. <laughs> like it's probably I, like, it'll be the worst experience of your life. Like I said, if it doesn't fit, I, I won't spend money on it. I, I almost now refuse to go shopping with him, unless it's for some technology item. <laughs> Can you remember when we went shopping for socks? Oh. And I tried on, to, to the disgust of the shop wrong. owner, I the tried on yeah, shop, every shop sock in the shop. shop. He opened up the packet <laughs> and there was all these empty cardboard packets everywhere, plastic bags all littering all over the... To be fair though, I did end up buying about four or five pairs of socks. I've never been so embarrassed. Well, I need to and try them on to see if they fit nice. That guy was so patient. <laughs> Who was, so yeah. about it. And then guess what happens? The shop closes down. The only sock the shop. The only that sock find. shop that I could find that fits, yeah. We went back to it. Anyway, there is <laughs> <laughs> We digress. We digress. We're waffling big time. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we've just had a coffee. Yeah. Oh look at the waterfall coming up. This is where people go rock climbing on that rock there. Yeah. That's one of the places. Oh we'll go past. Ah uh, yeah, yeah, we'll go and see the big one where the they climb up fire. the waterfall, yeah. Wildlife. Anyway, so the other thing is, whilst we're in England, we're not going to give away too much, but we might be, we're 99% sure it's going to happen, meeting up with another vlogger and we're going to make a video. And that's all I'm going to say about it at this stage, but it's going to make, well, it's rained here. The road's soaking wet. Uh, it's going to make for an absolutely brilliant video, so we're very excited to do that. Um, we don't think we'll be on bike though. We won't be on a bike, um, and the reason is because we, well I come from the Midlands, um, unfortunately renting a bike in the Midlands is just about impossible, unless anybody knows of a bike rental shop in the Midlands. I've done a lot of research and basically, oh, it's bumpy road. It seems to be, if you're in London, you're all good. Or if you're right up north in Manchester, otherwise you're pretty much stuffed for bike rental in England, which actually surprised both Kim and I. Yeah. We thought it would be much more easier, but it's Man, not. Motorbike nation, you know, yeah. really, really, really surprised me. I thought they'd be, you know, it would have been I mean, we could drive to London, rent a bike, drive back to the Midlands, but it's just not worth it. It's very expensive. I'd much, rather, I'd much rather spend our hard-earned cash on getting some good gear yeah, we're while we're over there. And, um, yeah, I'll yeah. I'll probably get a new helmet and um, you're probably going to get a two-piece, aren't you? I'm, I might try and t a two-piece. I like that one Richie Vita's wearing. He looks pretty handsome in it. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Can you get one like that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a bit older than Rich Vida. I think uh, my gut won't fit in that thing. Yeah. This corner's oh, yeah, well, always we... covered in gravel. I'm just like, this is yeah. actually quite green. Yeah, because we've had so much rain. Yeah. I mean, normally it's just 
quite dry and brown and it's looking pretty. You can see the big waterfall there cascading down the, the hill. Now look at the deers who are and looking at us because we're making a lot of noise. Is that the wild white waterfall? The what? Look at this. So, folks, uh, this is a, a valley called the Matuki Tuki. And at the end of this valley... Deersies. Yeah. I just said deers. There's like a thousand of them we just drove by. <laughs> I didn't hear you. Um, at the end of this valley is a glacier, and it's the Rob Roy Glacier. And is there any cars behind us? No, there's not. Sadly, we can't go down it on a motorbike. Well, we could, but not with this bike. Um, because it's dirt road for about 50 kilometres. But it is truly just amazing. And one day we'll take the car, we'll go down. I'll pull over here because... GS would get up there. GS would get up there. Is this the road to Triple Cone here? Yeah. Oh. Them guys a bit. I wonder if they know it's oh. a dirt road. Uh, gravel, gravel up there, gravel. Oh well, I'll find out. Well, they're on GS's, look. Oh, okay. I bet they, they don't even slow down. Oh, my ear is so itchy. Ugh. This is cool, isn't it? Treble cone. Apparently that road up there is pretty bad. Oh, yeah, I've done it a few times. Right, let's turn around. Oh, it's a bit slippy here, so I'm just going to gun it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like the gravel. You don't like gravel. Kim pretty much flat out refuses to go on gravel. Oh, well, everybody would understand if they saw our video, you know, when we went down to the Catlin. Yeah. With the boys on that round-the-block trip. That was pretty scary. So after that, I'm like, nah, not doing it. Sorry, don't care. I'm getting off. And hopefully there's someone with a GS around that I can jump on the back of. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it's very pretty through here, isn't it? Oh, well, we'll head back. Okay. I'm hoping, to, to be perfectly okay. honest, I'm hoping to go for a ride with the boys tomorrow. Oh, you can't. I just say. And we're going out for lunch. Oh, look at that. This is awesome, isn't it? Oh, my visor's really annoying me. It's just fogging right up. I've got all my vents open. Um, yes, it's hard to say tomorrow, so I'm so looking forward to my wonderful day. I've been spoiled rotten. And uh, <laughs> that's the first time I've heard about it. <laughs> um, if it's like this, though, I'd quite like to go for a ride tomorrow. Oh, Is it? I, yeah. I think on Mother's Day... I might it's, meet you. Yeah, well, it's the perfect day for you to spend some time by yourself, I think. Well, I would like to spend a couple of hours reading my book in the sun. That there you go. Nice. So you, a bottle of wine. There you go. You do that. I'll disappear. I'll get out your hair, babe. It's so <laughs> thoughtful. I am expecting presents and pampering, though. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Did you say that? <laughs> no, I said, ah. Oh. <laughs> I bet you haven't got me anything, have you? Well, I might have to pop to the shop and get you a box of roses. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you you stuff your little fat roses. face. <laughs> what is that going to say? Oh, here, yeah, I really love you, babe. Here, have some roses. roses. Don't choke. <laughs> <laughs> so, what will happen is you'll end up eating this. I don't eat really eat chocolate. Anyway, so... That's basically it, isn't it? We've got a lot happening and a lot coming up. And we do apologise for not putting out videos. It has been the weather, basically. Yeah. Although, on saying that, we are coming into winter, so... We are coming into winter. It is also... Oh, no, it is winter, actually, now, isn't it? It is technically winter. It's officially yeah. winter, yeah. But it is getting chilly, sure. It's cold. It, I'll tell you what it is. It's... Uh, Oh, yeah, it's freezing, 14 degrees. <laughs> That's pretty cold. That's not bad, actually. <laughs> 22 is the perfect biking temperature. Yeah, I think so, probably, for me, 25. Yeah, you like the warmth. And then I can just pop a T-shirt on into my jacket, and it's really nice. I love that sort of weather, and it's still nice and 
still. I don't like wind either. So the other thing we've got, well, I've purchased, is oh yes, a gimbal. Exciting. Exciting. Now, unfortunately, it's not for the actual. Wow, look at that. I wish we could stop somewhere. There's nowhere really to look out. We'll find a safe spot to stop. Though. Yeah, I want to stop down there, down by the lakefront. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I bought a gimbal from America, uh, an Evo gimbal, it's called, and it is for off the bike stuff um, so that we can have a bit of a better less shaky picture sadly they're, they're not quite good enough to attach to your helmet they're still a bit bulky um, and actually I was watching a video where somebody has done it just the other day and it just looks fake right. it doesn't look right okay. you know because you're not leaning with the corner okay um, and I appreciate it eliminates the shake from the overall picture, but it just doesn't look right. Something looks weird about it. But off the bike, we need one. Yeah, so we've, we've talked about this for a while, and I've been saying to Tom, I think we need to... Um, you know, oh, shit, that was a we... big patch of mud in the middle of the road. Go on. Um, yeah, just to make our vlogging a bit more, well, a bit better when we're off, off the bike. Yeah, so um, the main reason is is that when we're going to England, we want to video some footage for you and we want it not to be all shaky. Yeah. So I should get some... Uh, I might even do a, a review on it if it's any good. We'll see. It's supposed to be good. Oh, I love this road. So, yeah, so that's, that's exciting. And Tom, being Tom, he... Um he loves any, anything to do with technology, so he's very, very excited about having a good boy. <laughs> Aren't you? I am a bit of a techno nerd. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I've, be, I've always been very much into photography and filming and, and music, and so this yeah. is just a combination, and motorbikes, so it's a combination of all of them interests. Oh, I love it. This time of year is just amazing. It's too cold, eh? Oh, there was one other thing that I yeah. forgot to mention. Mm -hmm. Netflix. The, <gasps> the OA. Yeah. Oh, so we're big Stranger Things fans. We love oh, that kind gosh. of sci-fi. Yeah. Um, you know, a little bit in the future kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, kind you know? of TV series. We're really into that. We love binge watching series. And we watched the OA the other day on Netflix and thought it was brilliant. It's really good. So if you haven't seen that, watch either Stranger Things or the OA. The thing I love about the Stranger Things is it's set in the 80s and it's just like, oh. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a Spielberg kind yeah. of 80s E.T. Very Spielberg. Yeah. Um, Stranger just... Things was good. Yeah, the OA. Personally, I like the OA more. I thought it was a bit weirder. Yeah, it was a bit weirder. <laughs> Which I like. Um, what else have we watched that we really like? Nothing else, really. And YouTube. Oh, 44 Teeth. Oh, yeah. We've been watching loads of 44 Teeth. Those guys are so freaking So funny. funny. Yeah, let's pull in Listen, here. Sue Perkins. Sue Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> 44 teeth is brilliant. Oh, you're really funny. Right, jump off. Let's go and... Oh. Oh. Look at that. Sunshine on the water. Oh, your thing's steamed up. Oh. Has mine steamed up? Yeah. yeah. You're all good. Hmm. Probably because you've got the wind rushing on it. It might be. Maybe I just need to... A new box for yours. Look up, look up. Hmm. It's annoying, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um. Yay! <laughs> right. Pretty. You see, if we had that our, our gimbal, we'd be like, la la la. <laughs> the gimbal is cool. It is cool, it's awesome. But what a place. Yeah, it's very pretty, isn't it? Sadly looking directly into the sun. But... Come now, tubs. 
Right. Clear that, clear that water is usual, isn't it? Should we pan for some gold, babe? That'll almost definitely be gold. There's probably loads of blunder there. What a place. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, there's, there's no towns or houses or anything here. It's just untouched. There's the campsite there and that's it. Oh, if you look through there, you can see Treble Cone. It's got a bit of snow on it, actually. Yeah, directly ahead, that's Treble yeah, Cone Ski Field. Right over there, right at the top, the little jaggedy, pointy bit there. Um, no, it's not. It's that it? one there on the right. Uh, I thought it was that one. No, it's the one with the spike. Are you sure? No. No, it's that one. Treble Cone. Oh, it's that black peak. <laughs> that's black peak. Yeah. Oh, is that um, through there, right through there, right at the back? That is Rob Roy Glacier. Yeah. So it's quite a way away. Oh yeah, it's 50 kilometres away. Yeah. And it still looks bigger than all the other mountains. Crazy, eh? It's amazing. There's some um, beautiful walks around here. That's beautiful, look at that. I thought you were talking about my bum. How can... <laughs> that as well. <laughs> it is just the, the coolest looking bike. The shiz nizzle is what it is. Isn't it? It is beautiful. I and do. I've stuck my Black Falcons R and Z acrobatic team on the front. And Tom's like, oh, everybody I am. I wonder I'm a if pilot. People think I'm a pilot, look. And, and I said, oh, you better <laughs> watch, watch up on your plane. I might so pull. You know. I might pull. <laughs> I'm going to... <laughs> 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 yeah. Get some old girl. Thinks I'm a pilot. Right, jump on. Oh, you got <laughs> legs on you. Oh. Right, nothing behind us? I don't know. No, we're all good. Very yeah, difficult really... to look over your shoulder, you know, with uh, shades on. Oh, anyway, that, that just about concludes our video. Yeah, we just wanted to take you out for a wee blip Yeah. Uh, say hi. We might do another one tomorrow. It is Mother's Day that I've fully prepared something for, special for Kim, that she doesn't know about yet. And um, that's probably bringing me a cup of tea <laughs> in the morning. That'll be it. That'll I be might it. buy you a Twix. Oh, but you'll end up eating it. <laughs> well, yeah. That's a safe bet. If I buy you chocolate, she doesn't want it and I end up eating it, which is great. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, those subscribers. Don't forget to click the little bell thing so that you know when we put up a video next. I think YouTube have changed it so that they don't let you know anymore unless you click that. Um, what else is there to say, Kim? Nothing else, really. Yeah, I mean, it's been, um, been really nice to come out for a a little ride around the lake and uh, such a lovely day so good for this. So yeah I guess until next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs>
loads of people there. wonder who's playing. Oh, Richie will be there, I bet you. Can we go? Uh, yeah, there probably will be some famous it's people true. there it's watching. What a what? just stunningly beautiful day. Well, did you fart? I bet. <laughs> <laughs> A little monster. Ow! Uh, pulled out like half my hair.